Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing these cool menu animations uh, all inside XD uh, using all the new features that they've introduced in October. Before we get started with the tutorial, write down in the comments right now which one do you like the best? One, two or three? Which one is your favorite? So, so to start it off, let's just create a quick uh, artboard which will be about 1600 by 1600 that's fine um, so I've quickly gone ahead and created this iPhone kind of screen here and what I'm gonna do is now create a quick rectangle and in this this rectangle I'll give it a separate shape to give do that what I'll do is go here and I'll say different radius for each corner right here on the right and I'll go ahead and say these following numbers uh, 500, no, 600, 800, 2, 400, and 200. As you can see, I've created a shape like this, which is curved from these edges, but slightly less curved towards the bottom two edges. And I'll just rotate it so it is facing the bottom just like this. And... Um, the size is perfectly fine. I'll remove the border and change the color to this uh, bright yellow. Perfect. And I'll put it to the side here. I have brought in a quick burger icon which you can download from anywhere. But make sure that it's an SVG so that you can edit it. Or just make it yourself in Adobe XD by using the pen tool. Perfect. Uh, the next step is to just copy the background, which is this shape, rotate it so one of these edges is facing towards this bottom edge right here. Join it like this as so, as you see here. And I'll just expand it to the close to the edge like this and just increase the height as well till it reaches somewhat like this. So now you now have another section right here and um, this will be absolutely the same color and I can quickly create cards by just creating these rectangles I'm not going to work too hard on this just create some basic rectangles with a base shadow just like that and I'm just going to duplicate these here so they they look like cards you can have information here perfect now what I'm going to do is the next step what I'll do is Go to artboard, just select the artboard and say command D or control D to duplicate it. In the next step, I will remove these, move them towards the top left like this and hide it by saying command or control comma. As you can see, it's now hidden. I'll place this closer, not too far away. And this one will be even closer than before. So the, it'll be a sequential animation of sorts. The next step is to just go ahead and decrease the size of this just like this and make sure it's the same size as this. So I can just copy the dimensions 179 by 179, 179 by 179, mm, perfect. And what I'll do is just, I'll just make this really small and on the other end it will come up like this, right? If I just keep on moving this. Now again, I'll set it at 179 and 179. Uh, this is essentially just creating mirror and a mirror image of our previous element just by shifting this, uh, just holding shift and just shifting it towards the top like this. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same with this element right here. But what I'm going to do this time is hold the top left anchor and just move it here and it expands on the other side just like this. And how do I duplicate it like the previous one? Well, I just copy the width and the height and paste it right about here. And there we go. Also copy the, copy the width as well. That was the width. And we'll copy the height as well so that it fits it perfectly. Perfect. And I will place both of these in their uh, respected positions, just like this. Very similar to what we have here in the previous one. But, but however, with this one, what I'm gonna do is 
I want to find the complementary complementary color to this, but I don't want to go to the browser. Now with Adobe XD's new color blend feature, you can just go to this drop down menu on the right here by selecting this, going to this drop down menu. And as you can see, there are a lot of options, but the one that we want to use is called difference. This finds the complementary or completely contrasting color to this yellow right here. So uh, this blue is the complement, or you can say the a contrasting color to this yellow. Uh, it wasn't that neat. Now to animate this, I'm gonna go ahead, click on this menu icon here, drag the arrow to the second artboard, say auto animate, ease out, I'll change it to ease in out, and about 0.8 seconds. So let's try this out. Uh, if I click on the menu, see how it shifts and the menu items also go away. I can make this go back by clicking here and bringing the arrow back to the first start board. And if I click here, see how it shifts. And if I click again, see how it shifts back to this color and it changes color as well as shifts animation as well. That was awesome. Now, the second one is slightly tricky. I'll leave the burger menu here and I have emptied out everything else. For this, what we have to do is, first of all, create, uh, bring in a cool uh, image. I've brought in this turtle image and I'm just gonna expand it right here. Make sure it's the same border radius as uh, this. So this is basically a mask and um, in this mask, as you can see, the rectangle is shaped a certain way. So I will just make this uh, 100 border radius so it fits the iPhone really well, as you can see, and um, make sure it's behind the menu icon right here. And why I've chosen this image is because it's almost the same color. As you can see, this is not a t tens of different colors, just a gradient going from this light blue to the steel color. Now we have this and we have our menu in the middle, uh, something like that, right? Now we want to animate in such a way that there are multi colors, that there's a weird kind of uh, effect on the image. So with the new feature that was introduced in Adobe XD, which is the color blend mode, we can achieve that. So the I will create a rectangle first with the same uh, border radius, which is 100. And uh, remove the border from here. And I want this to have a color burn effect. And as you can see, as you can see, if I uh, select color dodge, see how it just uh, has this effect on it. If I reduce the opacity, the effect will go down. See how that happens? And um, I can even change it to saturation and see how it then becomes black and white. You can change it to luminosity to make it brighter. I can change it to color to just make the hues go away. I can change it to hue to, well, again, do the same thing. I can make it hard light. I can make it color burn. I can make it uh, lighten as well. So what I'm gonna do is for the first effect, we will just use colored uh, something like color dodge and reduce the opacity. All right. For the second section, what I'm going to do is I am going to just overlap the first one a little bit. For the second section, what I'm going to do is overlap the first section so that this uh, reduce the opacity and change it to something else. It could be difference. It could be exclusion uh, is something I like, or it could just be, I don't know, saturation or a color, right? So we have different effects. And I'll copy this one one more time and bring it to the top just like that, the full height. You won't really be able to see it, but it's pretty cool. And I'll change it to say, I don't know, overlay. Oh, that's, that's weird, but that's at the same time cool. Now I will copy these three rectangles uh, and uh, basically what I'll do is reduce the opacity, uh, reduce the height of all three of these to zero. So it reaches here and, or just give it a slightly larger value, say one pixel, right? And I duplicate this right here. Next thing what I'm gonna do is increase the size of this image as well as the mask itself and bring it down just like that. And 
for the if, for the effects what i'm going to do is i'm just going to increase the height of these rectangles first one i'll give it a 100 pixel height or maybe i don't know 800 pixel that's too much uh 400 pixels perfect the second one what i'll do with this is i will give this a hard light or maybe a soft light uh, i'll give it this effect called exclusion and i'll bring it down like this right so we have our second section right here mm, and join it somewhere like this right and another third section which is which can be difference as well or it could be something like screen or uh, multiply or darken right whatever you like i'm just going to go for saturation for the third effect and you can put in your menu items in here so let's prototype this and see how it works if i click on the menu uh, bring the arrow to the second artboard say well we have all the settings done tap auto animate ease in out and 0.8 seconds i'll do the same for the second artboard bring it right back right so let's test this out if i click on the menu icon here Ooh, see how these effects come in and if i click on this it goes back you can refine this to create a much better effect i'm pretty sure so i loved creating the third effect which i'm going to show you right now uh it is one of my favorites because uh i love the image and how the filters or uh, the color blends play a lot around with it so first of all i'll just increase the size of this image to fit in this uh, viewport we have here Make sure that the menu icon is on top of this, just like that. And I'll place the menu icon towards the bottom right, like that. Um, why is this my favorite? Because, by the way, if you're wondering where I picked these images up from, this is from unsplash.com, one of the best high-quality, royalty-free images for everyone to use. I'll create this ellipse on top of this, and I'll tell you why I'm doing this in a while, right? And... Uh, I'll remove this border, of course, and I'll make sure this is completely black. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to color blend modes here, and I'm gonna choose saturation. See how this is now grayed out, all right? This is gray, I want this menu, I menu item to be white. Perfect. I will duplicate this screen uh, one time, and what I'll do in this second one is I'll rotate these menu icons and you can make this a cross if you want, you can edit it or just bring in a cross to close it. The second thing, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just increase the size of this. As you can see, if I put it here, it will not overlap the white because the white is already a black and white format, right? So it just uh, saturates the colors here. So what I'm going to do is just increase the size just like that. And you can put in whatever items you want here in the form of menus. So let's prototype this once. I go here, click on this uh, circle, bring the arrow to the second artboard, say, let's bring this to 0 0.9 seconds, ease in out and auto animate. And we'll do the same for the second artboard, bring the arrow right back to the first one. So let's try this out once. If I click on this circle, see how it expands and it just saturates everything in the background and it seamlessly does it. Kudos to Adobe XD to incorporate this into the auto animate feature as well. That's really, that's really, really nice. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to this channel down below. You'll have the subscribe button, click on that and also click on the bell no notifications right next to it. That'll help my channel grow. I post every Monday and Thursday and I'll see you in another awesome design video. Peace out and God bless.